What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we are doing ramp sanity. I want to try some absolutely insane ramp combos. Here's where the deck sort of started for me is that if you play Nebula on turn three, on turn four you can play Flag Zombie, which makes all of your cards cost one less. So at that point you can play Interdimensional Zombie into the Nebula. It'll cause zeros. Now you're down to two brains because you play the flag zombie. You're back up to four because of interdimensional. Then you can play any other science card. So you have, you know, a bunch of one drops. Genetic experiments is will cause zero. The teacher also caused zero. And that will give you two more brains because that will transform the interdimensional zombie, which is inside the nebulas. Now you're up to six. So you just need one more brain to get a massive turn four bad moon rising. That last brain can be obtained either by having a zombology teacher which will make the bad moon rising cost one less or uh, by playing a brain vendor that turn this if you have flag zombie on the field cost two and gives you three so you'll actually gain another brain you can even do that with just like a couple you know a flag zombie and a couple brain vendors i'm just thinking like you play two well turn four you go down to two this playing it into the nebula um gives you three more brains you're up to five you play another one so you're up to six you, i guess you need a teacher at that point you can also just do this whole combo on turn five instead of on turn four we're gonna be going for the early bad moon rising so the other thing that this deck is just a flag storm deck every once in a while um you're gonna have flag zombie and just teacher and an interdimensional zombie so this turns into a three drop uh and you can play genetic experiment and you can protect your guys with a uh, healthy treat and then just play going virals the next turn for the win i think the way we're i'm gonna my mindset in this deck is gonna actually be to hard mulligan for either a going viral or for a bad moon rising if we are a bad moon rising then we're gonna play patiently control with rolling stones the first couple of turns if we don't have rolling stone we're gonna have to spam a minion and a hardy tree just to sort of counter what they're doing um hopefully get a nebula play that and then do a big ramp play on turn four or five if we have a going viral in our hands then we're gonna be going for some kind of either uh, early game you know tempo with your teacher and your treats again rolling stones are very good because everyone's running black ip and I'd say like most decks have either Black IP or Triceratops in it, or something, you know, really that dies really heavily on turn 2 to Rolling Stone. Um, and then you're going to be going for a Going Viral to finish them off. Uh, so you kind of have like two different strategies. We, are, we definitely have to make sure we get one of these <laughs> starting hand. Hopefully that'll happen. Let's see how this deck does. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get right into the game. Um, because this deck... I think is very powerful, but is not going to be completely reliable. I'm going to set the, the bar a little bit low today and make the bets um, 7 out of 10. So we're going to play 10 games with this. The games will actually go pretty fast because we're either going to ramp to the moon and just win, or we're going to just completely lose and <laughs> brick, brick out very quickly. So if you think this deck will go 7 wins out of 10... Uh, then it's a yes. Six or fewer is a no. Over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash fry em up. I wonder if I need a fourth nebula. I wonder if I should just cut two nebulas and run another heart. Uh, sorry, two rocket sciences and then run a fourth nebula on a fourth hardy tree. It could be that it's correct because when are you going to need a rocket science in this deck for real? Like, you're either going to be winning so far ahead that you don't need to counter them. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Uh, a subject to change for sure. Um, so this is looking like a turn two strat. We'll definitely get rid of this against Solar Flare. Uh, we're going to probably need another minion here. All right, it looks like we're just going for a Flag Swarm play. So we're going to pass, and we'll spam all this on two. I mean, we could just play patiently. I don't really have a follow-up, so I'm going to actually pass here and... Uh, We'll, we'll see, maybe we can, if we draw into something, we can get a good play with Nebula, perhaps. Okay, good, pass. <laughs> this is still looking like a Flag Swarm hand. <laughs> I mean, it's nice when, well, okay. We still don't have a follow-up, so I'm still passing. Um, I guess it's Nebula. So we'll do this. There you go. <laughs> the problem is we're not really ramping to anything. I can empty my hand for free here. 
We could just pass still and hope for a bad moon rising. We need a going by. We need something. All right, I'm still passing. I don't care. God damn it. We'd be playing too hard into Scorch and everything else. Here's Hardy Tree. Okay, we, I think we have to start doing something, right? So I'll play this here since it's the least important card. Uh, I'll do this. I don't know. I don't want to play into Scorch, though. I guess we're going like this here. Flame face, love to see it. So we have a lot of threats. We also have a chop, a rolling stone, and a hardy tree. We made a bucket deck already. Look that up on YouTube, man. Okay. So this one just dies. <laughs> oh no. Seems like the opponent has the basically the same idea as us for, for a plant deck. Oh, okay, so that's dead. Oh, great. Fantastic. I don't think we're gonna win this game, guys. It's just this feeling I have. I want this to be out of Berry Blast range. Chop this, it's nice. I don't think we have a, a, a path to victory anymore. <laughs> Unfortunately. Well, I can't play two berries, so we might as well put this here. I, I just, yeah. <laughs> we need a going viral or a bad moon rising to have a shot. And even then. What is he doing? Stop playing berries! Oh my god, he's so annoying. Yay. Alright guys, don't give up hope. This deck does suck. I'm not going to take any offense to that. <laughs> this deck isn't about winning, it's about... Even if we end up going 5-5 five and five today, those five games we win are going to be amazing. They're going to be incredible. So it's going to be worth it. It's not about how many games you win, it's about the games you win. If that makes sense. La 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 la. What? <laughs> no, he has another... He has another berry blast. Yes! This guy had all the cards he needed. He had everything. Oh, uh, yeah, we still can't really do anything. Well, I guess we might as well... Psych him with one of these. And make him spend that berry blast, right? Have to spend it eventually. <laughs> oh. Well, we need a bad moon rising zombot. <laughs> The difference is he's using an actual good deck and we're not. But that is what is going on. Do we have to spend both of these now? Actually, any berry kills this. There's really no chance of winning anymore, huh? Well, what if he doesn't have anything? What if of the seven cards in his hand, he doesn't? He's not able to to either have a any berries or oh no, we know he has a berry. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, it's guaranteed lethal. Oh well. Oh, well. It's not about winning, it's about sending a message. Exactly good. Precisely. Alright, we're on. This is okay. Keep it going. Okay, okay. I see something happening here. We're gonna go for the trick mic strat. This looks good, we'll start on two. Do 
Do you still think Shamrock it should cost six? I'm, I'm not it should cost, I don't know. Four or five? Something. Not three. It just makes the game boring, so yes. I think six would be okay. I don't need this flag to actually live, right? That's what we're doing. Black IP would be really annoying here. Freeze. Uh, I like our I like our shots for this game. Oh, oh. oh yeah, that's fine. The ramp is real. We just need to get another um, going viral now. We can double it up. Maybe I'll going viral and then draw the card. So we have an extra, uh, extra, extra chance of getting a second going viral. So now we're shuffling them in first. First of all, we draw a card here. Then we draw another card. And then nothing good happens, so it's fine. We're still dominating. Uh, blocks the five damage, it's okay. Just need as many going virals now as humanly possible. That's fine. The flag really is the least powerful guy on the board here, so... That is okay. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I think this is how this is gonna work. Is that the deck is not gonna be consistent, but when we win, it's gonna be a blowout, and when we lose, it's also a blowout. And when I'm with your mom, it's also a blowout. Whoa, whoa. When I'm with your dad. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. The ramp is real. Exactly, yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You guys know how this song goes. Uh, oh, god damn it. This is gonna be a fun stream either way. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to say. The guys in the stream who just come here to see me get wrecked, then you guys are gonna have a great time. And the people who wanna see crazy Bad Moon Rising combos, um, you guys are also gonna be it's simple for everyone in today's stream. That's all. That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> do, do, do. How about Shamrock it costs as much as the zombie it removes? Does that mean that it would be the most versatile card of all time because it can use it on turn two to remove two drops, on one to remove one drop? Yeah, man. How about just however many however many sun you have left that does that much damage? That I could get behind. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, we have going viral. And nebulized. Well, we gotta get rid of Brain Bender now. No, no, it's too many. <laughs> See, there's so many things that go wrong here, okay. I think if we get another one drop we'll be we'll be cool here. Wow, wow, wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Another one drop. Hell yeah. Okay. So does the flag zombie want to go here or the or this one? I think the uh, yeah. There's too many three drops that trade with a two two, and we have the going the the going viral for next turn. So we're gonna give him one of these. Give him one of these. It'll transform. I like this play. I like having a three drop on turn two, especially if it's a good one. That's fine. That's not the lane we want it to be in anymore, but it's okay. We have Flag Zombie. This is fine. Flag Zombie should live unless he has like a, a I don't know, a Shellery. Not a whole lot he has that adds, uh, I guess, a Garlic or a Shellery. Some team up to kill that. He mogs a one drop, thank you. Turns in two. God damn it. Well, we fix it with the going viral next turn. The line dancing zombie that's doing doing damage. Especially once we give it the going viral. Hell yeah. It's kind of blind 
going viral here. I guess this didn't win the trade. God damn it. Problem is, we don't really have a field anymore. That's the real problem. We have a 2 2. We have a 2 2. We didn't even get damage from. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we accomplished enough, so we're gonna need now another. Another, a new board and a Bad Moon Rising or Viral. Ugh. This is very sad. Hopefully we can find some, get get a, a rocket or something here. I'm gonna spam the Nebula and just hope to get a Bad Moon Rising. That's kind of our, our hopes and prayers right now. Come on, Bad Moon Rising. It's playable, isn't it? Yeah, it's playable. It's fun. Oh yeah, it's playable. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not gonna play into drinking violet. Let's just save this. The moment we get a going viral or a well, I guess we kinda want him to drinking violet here, right? Hopefully he'll just play into rocket. <laughs> Maybe we just need more wind condition cards and get rid of all the rockets and everything like that. Ugh. Okay, so we can't do anything. Flag is only good if you can conjure cards. Yeah, this all, all these are really only good with something, you know? <laughs> We're getting so bricked here. I probably should have spammed the flag zombie there at least. Since we don't actually need it coming up. God damn it. I'm gonna just chump lock this one. I really wish I had a Bad Moon Rising. What else could we run in this deck? Should I just run card draw or something? Maybe we can run card draw instead of the rockets. Could be good. He has shrinking, so we kind of threw it out, sort of. I'll hit this with the rolling stone. It's Bad Moon Rising or Bust right now, boys. Come on. We can't do anything! <laughs> Yay! It looks like we're going for Bad Moon Rising. This is exhilarating. Here, I'll play this one too. Why not? Oh, second shrinking. Probably should have played around that, huh? We're not gonna win anyway! <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, we, it's guaranteed lethal. <laughs> I don't want this to work. Okay, maybe we need card draw or something. What if we ran? I don't know. God damn it. I know this is bricking the deck even more. Okay, let's just let's just run. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Guys, I have no idea. I have no clue. I don't know how to do this. Run run the leprechaun, guys. Gotta spam leprechauns. What else could be a win condition in a deck like? Gotta run monster mash, guys. Okay, that's it. Screw it. We're running monster mash. Maybe I should run, um, I should run Pot. I'd rather probably, I think I'd rather draw a bunch of cards than make my guys big, right? What if we legitimately run Pot in this deck? This will make, Pot makes it that if you have a useless hand, <laughs> that's still good. What do you guys think? Three Pots or, or three Monster Meshes? Or one of this and two of these? We can ramp to pot. Guys, it's ramp to pot. I don't think Monster Mesh is actually going to do enough to win this, win this, so. We're going three, th three pots. Okay, we'll go two pots. And we'll, and we'll run three of these. Okay, we're all in, guys. We're all in. I'm, I'm sure that made it worse. Wait. Oh, we still have too many cards. All right. This is beautiful now. 
We're just making the deck worse. It's, it's okay. <laughs> literal, literal insanity now. I've completely lost my mind with this deck. I want it to work so badly. That <laughs> this is me just being stubborn, having this idea that's cool. I knew this wouldn't work too. I mean, I made the bets low today. This is fine. This is, this is fine. Okay. We have to, first of all, mulligan for the good stuff. See, I think this could work now. God damn it. Pot hub. Uh, Nightcap, he passed turn one. Sus. It's Cycle Cap. Y'all know it's Cycle Cap. I probably should have done this on two and then gone for the Nebula on three. Well, I hope he plays the planet here. It'll make my life a lot easier. Play planet! Just do it. You're cycle cap. You, you have to do cycle cap things. God damn it. Is this a cycle cap curve? I don't think it is. I think this guy is a sussy baka. Okay, so do we want the guy who's who the, the what do we want to match up against the three the, the three three here? I guess this one, right? Okay. Alright, we're all in. We're all in. We are all oh, we can pot too. We can do whatever we want. Okay. So it's gonna be like, well, do we want one of them to be on heights? We probably would like to play around going viral, but this one dying is alright. Okay, so it's gonna be like you, like you. The ramp. There we go. This is what we've really come here today. Come on, turn into a science card. Come on, science! Oh, it's more ramp! Oh, it's perfect. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> if we had a bad moon rising, this would work. Otherwise, we're gonna either have to go pot or going viral. What's better, drawing four cards? Or, I don't know. Oh, god damn it. Oh no, we can play both! We can do both, guys! Alright, here we go. <laughs> we draw four cards. We. <laughs> now we have card refresh! This is perfect! I probably should have covered that, right? Eh, I don't think the little mushrooms are gonna matter. It's a mushroom deck, by the way. I really like the um, the free gentleman zombie. That ramp, that interdimensional zombie gave us, it, it cost zero, and it gave us six brains that turn it, with the nebula, including the gentleman zombie's two brains, so hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Uh -huh, try to protect the Sporticus, nice try. Nice try. Really, great try. I commend your trying this. Uh, so we'll transform this one, which is fine. We oh smell there. I think pot of silver is what this deck needed the whole time. I think pot of silver is gonna win us this oh. Okay. Not lane two, not lane two, god damn it. Not lane four. Not lane four. Okay, everything's fine. Oh, we even have we still have the gentle I forgot about him. Okay, so we could go with these two. Which is awesome. Mm -mm. I'm guessing like another. Mm. We can also start nebuling. Nebulating. I think we gotta go for the card draw, guys. We're never gonna run out of cards in this deck. We, like, unironically just played two. This one's the better one, right? Yeah. We just, like, like just casually play two pots of silver. We've drawn eight cards from Pot of Silver so far. La 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 la. So this is going to be... Oh my god, we're doing so much damage, too. Why? Where's Baboon Rising when you need it? That's the real question. Look at all the damage. That's a lot of damage. It is a lot of damage. Well, we don't have any tricks to play, so we might as well play the card that, like, grows. Somewhat. Kind of. I have a feeling he's just gonna play a mushroom and then use Gloom Shroom to just destroy our life here. Oh my gosh. Oh no. 
Okay, <laughs> he's not saving any environments. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Um, we get three damage. Oh, yeah, and that, that first puff stream kind of screwed up. The, the least lucky puff shrooms in the history of PvZ heroes. He had three lanes. He had three guys. And they both missed. That would have made such a huge difference. Now we just win. We win in lane two now. Bruh. Absolute. Absolute, bro. Watch well, us win because of that now. Look. Look. Uh. 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 Got him. What a. What a fail, bro. I, I don't know, man. You going in the fail cup. That's straight. That's you going straight in the fail cup. And we're 2 0. 2 and 2, I mean. <laughs> 2 and 0. God damn. Here we go. Yeah, emotional damage is right. I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm scared of what this deck has become. Maybe this is Pot of Silver is really one of the best. I mean, it kept us like eight cards from that. Okay, here's this now. Come on. Now we need our flag stuff. I think I'm just gonna go all in on this. All right, all right, it's happening. It's happening. We just need a couple, couple good draws here, and we're fine. We can draw an extra card from this too. So I love how we got our superpower. Not only is it the best control card, can be in the but it also comp, draws. Please. That will be in the fail comp. Hell yeah. Okay, we have this combo too. We need like a third minion here. Ugh. We're probably still being patient. Yeah, I can't spam a nebula, it's cycle cap. Should I play this though? Alright, let's go. I'm just burning going far, that's fine. Aha! Okay. Now I think I'm playing this no matter what. I don't care if I get cycle capped on five, he's gonna go for it anyway. Ass. We're we're two and two now. Who needs our own three? Yes! Oh! Is this the same guy? This is perfect, guys. This is working out beautifully. So the the ones the one we want to get killed, we want a teacher to die here. I guess I, I'll play somewhat around Shrinking Violet. We <laughs> we can theoretically Bad Moon Rising. If not, we'll just draw cards. We'll draw like three cards if he if he kills one of the teachers. God damn it! <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Well, we're getting there. These these cards are gonna are gonna come in handy, guys. Duh. Duh. Oh no. <laughs> no. Um, Alright, so we're always doing this, right? Because we don't want him to draw. If I get a Nebula, I'll probably just play here. I don't know. Do I play it or do I go for card draw? I guess I do go for card draw still. Because Nebula without minions is not going to do anything. Cards without Nebula does do something. Okay. Don't Rolling Stone this, because... Because, yeah. We don't want him playing an Astro Shroom in here. Another flag. Another one. So I'm playing this flag here. And I'm still playing Nebula. Or something. We could have gone for a pot, too. I think I'm just going to set up Nebula here. That's okay. He's <laughs> still trying to draw. Not gonna work. It is not gonna work. Very well. Come on, man. So it's gonna be 
Nebula. I don't think we have to Rolling Stone this anymore. I don't think we do. We're just going for Bad Moon Rising now. I'll take the block meter charge, why not? Probably our big Bad Moon Rising minion. Let's get a guess. Yes, we got something. This is so good. We have 10. We can bad, bad Moon Rising. We can actually Bad Moon Rising and still pot because we're going to gain two more from the Nebula here. This is actually insane. We can also go in viral and finish him off. La 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 la. <laughs> I think we just made this deck good with the card draw. Oh, uh, come on. No, oh my gosh, this is so stupid. This actually gets two attacks since a minion came in and left. Lame. Alright, so this always happens. It's probably Bad Moon Rising going viral still. Oh, Octo Zombie, nice! We need a leap! <laughs> we, we do need a leap. We genuinely need a leap. I'm gonna go... I think we need more cards, right? Yeah. More cards, more damage, why not? I hope he doesn't get a blow. That would suck. Interdimensional, nice! <laughs> Imagine if this deck was actually good now. <laughs> yes, we got the 9. Vim block. <laughs> Okay, no blow. No, 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 no. No blows. No blows. Pot's legitimately good. It draws an average of four cards in this deck. Here we go. la di da di da We have unlimited brains. I mean, forget that. We could probably still play Bad Moon Rising after we play the pot here. Let's see. No. Oh, we can play another guy? I uh. He has to deal with lane one. He can't even deal with anything else. Does he have another bounce? Is the real question. Now we can play pot and get play going viral. I mean, the chance of getting going viral pretty high. Okay, your mom's pretty high. <laughs> Double bounce. Come on, man. Bruh. Rockwall, no. Stop bouncing stuff. Okay. Well, I'm doing this for two cards. Yep. Well, that's in the box. Come on, going viral. Yes, easy. Love to see it. And we're rolling down this one. That is. We actually have an Octo Zombie, by the way. So I think we're. I think we're fine here. So we're doing five damage, and then we can just do four more easily. La 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 la. Yeah, it's guaranteed lethal. Octo for the win. We can play anything we want, actually. I'll go for the Octo for the BM. Wee! Don't turn into Mixed Up Grave Digger. <laughs> More guns! Guys, come on, Bad Moon Rising. Come on, Bad Moon Rising. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> we'll just do this. Wee! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Guys, it's working. It's working, it's working. It's working, guys. I'm telling you, we're on to something here. We are on to something. <laughs> no, we're not adding we're not adding leaps. Should we add a leap to this deck? Maybe what this deck really needs is leap. And we'll just do the thing where you play infinite leaps in Nebula. No, it doesn't make sense. Guys, pot. Pot of silver. Ah. <laughs> Um, I think we keep that. We get rid of this. Okay, let's try to legitimately win with a Flag Swarm. I just really don't want to get rumbled. That's what I really... For real, dog. Dog. Real doge. I guess we're playing into... Ver uh, ever so slightly. We'll play into the rumble. Uh, the flag should have gone here. That was a mistake. Whoopsies. Especially because it can turn into like line dancing. So, oh my god. When your three drop is a two two also. Great. Imagine getting value. The flag should have been here. It's just a pure misplay. If that's all he does here though, we're in good shape. Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> he's, he's playing for the eventual going viral, for the eventual rumble. Maybe not. Maybe he has Rumble and playing this Brain Bender here would be a foolish piece of pie. OK, 
Okay, I'm gonna well I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for this. Here we go. Brain vendor going viral. And we're not playing so harshly into the into the rumble. Uh, but this doesn't grow though, it feels bad. Bruh. Oh my gosh, he's so annoying. Bruh! Okay. I win. I think these going virals can get us back in the game here. One at a time. Bri, do you love us? Hell yeah! I don't know what I would do without you. God damn it. Okay. I think we're still in the game, guys. I think this is. I hate when they still when we're playing Flag Swarm and he just gets. It seems like every Grass Knuckles has Rumble when we're playing these decks, but. But yeah. Two and three. Looks awesome. Again, as long as he just doesn't get like an on curve ledgy here that destroys us. Just no Winter Melons, please. Okay, oh my gosh. That's harsh because he gets two more. Con oh, he gets infinite conjures now. There we go. We going. We we actually break through this next turn. He's really low in health. Extremely low. So I think we're okay. We don't have to play around the rumble anymore. I think we're doing just fine here. Actually, look at this play now. The double going viral hand. Couldn't be better. No! Gosh. We still get five, six damage here. That Brainana really hurt. He got this from Captain Cucumber, right? So annoying. Just clears our field. Straight up. Uh, the good news is we only need two more damage to win. So hopefully we'll just get a minion and spam going virals and get said two damage. Hell yeah. This means we can possibly spam a third going viral here. We got two draws. We can also get card draw, theoretically. La 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 la. Well, yeah. It's guaranteed lethal. He goes up to three. But then we <laughs> what we're doing four or five now. So much damage. Yeah, get the hell out of here. Guys, this is working. This is working. Is it really worth it to spam four cards and then play pot? And then get four cards back, and then you have some one thing left on the field because they clear you. Maybe it is. I can't tell if the stack is good. Maybe we should just run like, um, like Chungus Yeti or something as another win con to make all these little bad cards. Like maybe the, the serious deck would have four Chungus Yetis. I don't think, wow, Warlord? I don't think Warlord. Like, what if we did it more like, I think I'm gonna keep the pots. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna keep the pots. This deck is this is what this deck is now, and it, it really does make sense. It's about capitalizing on having a wide field. The three cards that capitalize on wide field, four cards actually now, are gonna be going viral, bad moon rising, pot, and yeti. I I think I like it like this. And you can really use the ramp to any of these. Here we go. So that's what we're doing. Did I take a screenshot of this? This deck is called Divide and Conquer. And Conquer. Here we go. <sighs> so 
So far, this looks more like a going viral hand than a Yeti hand, because we don't have ways of ramping. Uh, <laughs> so now what? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how you mulligan this hand, man. I guess we look for ramp. We don't really need going viral. We're not going to... Okay, yep, that's it. We're holding on to this hand. Rose usually doesn't play that fast. Luckily, we got our super again. Holy moly with that. So lucky. We just beat Guardian Package, who conjured a Brainana with a pot deck. All is, all is good. So, with just these two, we get... Again, it's turn four. We play this, we get five. And we play this, and we get six. We could just play Yeti at that point. I want to actually ramp to Bad Moon Rising, though. So I'm maybe going to wait for... Wait, I'll do this on four. I guess we'll see what the opponent does here. I, don't, I think we're just burning this, because we do need another card. We need to have one more card for the Bad Moon Rising. That works. I think this is actually doable now. So it's going to be flag with these two. We have also, like, a Rolling Stone play, theoretically. I'd really like to just spam Nebula here and get a turn 5 Bad Moon Rising. Okay, here we go. We're gonna spread, uh, so we don't get hit too hard by Shrinking Violet, but we're just going for Bad Moon Rising right now. That is huge. Your bomb is huge. We could just go for the, for the Yeti. The Yeti is so much safer. Well, you know what? I'm gonna see what we get out of this one, and we'll go from there. Let's get a brain vendor. <laughs> How hard did we die to shrinking violet? Okay, we don't. It's not that hard. Like this yeti is fine. If he plays shrinking violet, we'll still get a two bad moon rising. So I think this is good enough. We're going for bad moon rising first, then we'll yeti. This Yeti is good, though. Maybe I shouldn't. Hammer. Good. That's so inefficient. And that's okay. So we get a two Bad Moon Rising. Good enough. And we'll get another card to ramp with the Yeti and just buff these two cards next turn. He's not going to have a third removal. There's no way. This is fine. Uh, is there a reason to draw a card first? Nope. Bad Moon Rising. <laughs> that's nice. Hell yeah. So, pretty sure we Rolling Stone that and take the damage. Well, we could save it for this. I mean, we're winning the trade. Is 5 damage that vital here? We'll be down to 9. I just think a removal play might be good, might be better. All right, let's let's take the damage while we have it, since we're lone cards. Sweating hard in the meme deck. <laughs> okay, that's flag. That does work. So it's flag. Chungus, and we still have our super because the the nebula is activating twice. These guys just become insanely powerful. Wait, we're up to four. Oh wow. So if we actually get it going viral, this mime is going to start flipping out. So that would be awesome. <laughs> Come on, going viral! <laughs> I don't know, this Rose, even if they have a Cobb Cannon combo, there's just too many things to deal with right now. I guess Cobb Cannon combo would happen in two. And you can kill the... Leave the mime, kill the... I don't even know. I love how we still have our Rust Bolt Super in him. We can just correct uh, any any of these trades from happening. The worst case scenario would just be Briar Rose and a bunch of little flowers. <laughs> that would be just game losing. Can't have Doom Shroom though. Sunstrike Doom Shroom? Well, didn't play Sunstrike yet. So that would also be game losing. We're good. I think Rose just concedes here. I mean, this is a really... We're thinking of it. Rose is one of the heroes that theoretically could deal with this hand. Solar class removal, but uh, this deck is actually, since we made the changes, this deck is dominating. And I love, uh, the thing that I really love is the fact that we had two very good strats there. Honestly, probably doing the Yeti instead of the Bad Moon Rising was even better.
I almost want to add a fourth Yeti. Oh, fourth Yeti is going to break. Four Batman Risings also breaks, though. Man. The deck is shaping up. What's going on? I don't know. The man disconnects into the casino. The small PP energy. Okay. Okay. Uh, Alright. It's Captain Combustible, though. Can we just get our, our super again? Maybe I should have kept the Rolling Stone since it's an aggressive hero. I just hope he's not playing fast. We don't have the wherewithal to deal with that. Like, no Blooming Heart. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Blooming Heart would have been <laughs> game losing there. So, the plan is turn four, we go down to two, and then we go up to six. This count. No, sorry. This gives us three. Two and one. Wait, two. Good news is Captain Combustible typically doesn't have that many environments. I wonder if I can even just spam Nebula here. Like, Captain Combustible environments are garbage. People usually don't run coffee grounds or hot lava. Red Planet's not even playable next turn. There's that. Okay, so turn four, we'll play two... So we're only gaining six on turn four anyway. I might as well play this though. <sighs> so we don't have it. We don't have anything. I can play a second Nebula if I do this. We're also just controlling. It's a little bit sad. Maybe I shouldn't be doing it though. It's probably just going viral. Look for a card, Nebula. We'll be drawing two cards. We'll be able to ramp to bed when rising, no problem, next turn. Uh, that's choppable. Nice! So, do I want to play Going Viral for the extra card, or play Nebula for the extra ramp? We definitely don't need extra ramp, so I'm going for the card here. I love how this is choppable. It's really slow Captain Combustible here. Now, uh, not another card, but it was another Going Viral. Can we have a minion, please? <laughs> We're so bad. <laughs> okay. Now what do we do? We're so screwed, man. We need regular card draw, not pot. We just don't have any guys. Whew, this sucks. I'm gonna play this for free. I'm gonna play Going Viral in a second Nebula here, I think. At least we'll hit something with the Going Viral. Oh, we can't play second Nebula. Uh, well, it's a card. It's also extra damage. Uh, <laughs> we have all the ramp we could want, we just don't have any any minions. Okay. We're gonna go for the really s t slow turn 7 and 8 bad when rising, I guess. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you want to see card draw? <laughs> you want to see some... <laughs> I don't even know if I Nebula here. I think I do, because if we get some cards. We, we sure gonna need them. Let's go. Okay. We're ramping in. We have an infinite amount of brains for the rest of the game. Let's try to go for the Batman Rising now. Come on. There's Teacher. Ooh, nice. I'm gonna play around plant food of all things. So we can definitely get the Bad Moon Rising. I think we have Pot also. Bad Moon Rising brings us down to three and gives us four, yeah. So we definitely have Pot. We can probably like Bad Moon Rising Pot. I don't know, we'll see. Sorry, if we play this, this cost it will bring us two down to seven, yeah. So this will cost five. 
We totally have it. Please don't berry blast one of my... Please, please, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Come on, Discotron. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> he knows. Guys, he knows. He knows. He definitely knows. <laughs> so annoying. We're clearly going for Bad Moon. It doesn't draw anything. <laughs> Draw zero. Dun 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 dun. Oh my gosh, we're so bricked. We're so bricked. Espresso Fiesta here. Gosh. <laughs> Have mercy on me. What are you doing? Come on, nerf. Uh, okay, heal's fine. We have one more turn, though. That, that's the fact. Do we need teleports in this deck? I don't know what we need. Oh my gosh, she has an environment. Here we go. God damn it. Wee. Uh, what do I actually want? Rolling Stone prevents a little damage here. Nothing else really does anything. Wah, wah. Yeah, obviously a sniper. Can I block? Oh my gosh. Blocking and drawing a card there would have been so nice. Okay, now we need the miracle. Let's go. It is miracle time, boys. I think we can play two Bad Moon Risings this turn. No, no, we can't. Okay, here we go. Yes! I'm dying fair! <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're drawing one card. I don't care. Drawing one card. Undying Pharaoh. Guys, we're in the game. We're in the game. We're in this game. I don't care. He wasted all of his berry blast too. Hey, eh, he can't even prop the block. That's so funny. That is so funny. He can't even proc the block. We're gonna just ride this for the rest. It doesn't have any removal anymore. We're gonna ride this for the rest of the game. I'm not even gonna Bad Moon Rising. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna going viral. Because he can't do one damage, so therefore the block doesn't register. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> oh? Imagine getting our super there. It wouldn't really matter. He removed every single minion we played the whole game. Bruh. <laughs> it didn't even do the anim- Wow, thanks game for BMing me. Didn't even do the animation. For the pot of silver. God damn. Switch Pot of Silver for, for card draw? Okay, well, we're gonna stick with the deck. Bruh. Bruh. Absolute bruh gaming. Maybe we need, like, like beam me up instead of the thing so we can have more guys. Beam me up instead of, um, Rolling Stone. Beam me up instead of... Well... Beam me up instead of, um, oh, instead of the genetic experiment. I don't know what you'd run it instead of the... I don't know. I don't think we're going to be breaked with no. Half our deck is... Well, what percentage of our deck is minions now? We have 12, 16, 20. So it's 50% of our deck are the small guys that we need. I mean, we had them. We just... They, he gets that berry blast and time to shine. Just, I mean, seriously, one fewer removal card, we would have been good that game. Eh, that's not going to happen. The guys, people will have one or two small removal cards. They're not going to have six like that guy. Come on, man. The pot of silver was so good. No, we have to keep the pot of silver. Beam me up instead of teacher. Teacher's one of our ramp cards, though. Um, uh, <laughs> that game, beam me up, would be good. It doesn't mean beam me up is actually good in this deck, though. I don't think you can take that just one. Are any of the previous games would beam me up have been amazing? Probably not. Add middle manager instead of... Oh, we're not going to have enough science cards, then. I mean, the brain vendors are actually doing gar nothing. That would be really what we need to get rid of. What if I get rid of the brain vendors and we add actual actual card draw and extra minions to this deck? That is a good suggestion right there. 
Now I'm not compromising on the ramp. I know it would be an extra little minion, but you have flag anyway. It's another way of ramping. I don't care. Maybe the brain vendors are no good. Well, they're kind of good. All right, let's try it like this. I, I I haven't I've never I've never regretted adding middle manager to a deck before. It is extra card draw for real. Let, let's go with that. It also we have two other professionals in this deck. It's very good with the Yeti. It's very good with everything. This should be fine. We don't need more ramp. We need more minions and finishers. I think that's the thing. We went all in on the Nebulas. I'm going to keep the Nebulas still. But we don't... The Brain Vendor adds a little extra ramp. And that's that's not, that's the third thing this deck needs. So we'll get rid of a little bit of that and add in a little bit more consistency. This looks cool. This looks very cool. Leprechaun, again, I wish Leprechaun still added two pots. They got rid of that because there were decks with, like, Nebula when it cost two with Leprechaun in it. So they thought, you know, Leprechaun did have a high win rate. I think that's why they nerfed it, apparently. But, um, yeah, I kind of wish Leprechaun still made the two pots. I feel like it would, it would legitimately be viable. La, 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 la. Yeah, if for things that happened in the past, just come back and just forget about it. You don't need to apologize. It's okay. I don't even remember. It's the hundreds of people in here and now every single day. So, okay, here we go. Um, okay, so we can go one, two, three. I think that's good. This is actually more of a, a, a traditional swarm deck now that we've added extra ones. I like this, though. Let's go for it. Let's see what we get. Flag zombie would be <laughs> pretty cool. We're five and three. Ooh, teacher. Um, I think we're gonna go... I'm gonna go like this. Probably not gonna outright remove the teacher here. It's very hard to do. Bro! Oh my gosh. That really, really stings. Got us with the three nut. So should I try to protect our teacher here so we can just try to maybe out tempo him? It's almost impossible to out tempo a three nut. If I had a rolling stone, I would I would go for that, but it would be really sad if we just top deck rolling stone right now. Okay. I have a dog that just moved across the street from me who screeches really loudly. They're so annoying. God damn husky man. Holy crap. That's so sad. He's protected, okay. Watch him not have anything to follow this play up with. Yes! Because we can get up to. Oh no! Did he top deck this? He top decked it. He for real top decked it. Come on, man. Buffing everything here. Okay. It's gonna be so freaking hard to break through this. I'm gonna play the flag zombie because it gets hit twice and buffs the middle manager. Looks good. Two damage also kills the nuts. This is going to six right now. We're doing enough damage. I, running Haunted Pumpkin in a deck with three now. I don't know, man. It's so very sad. Thanks for the con, man. This doesn't do anything. It needs team ups. Uh, okay. Uh, so we're fine. We are more than fine. We're doing seven, and then this. The teacher dies, but. We're, we're doing five, six in this lane, actually. Jeez. So three not, not getting it done there. 
course you roll double threes. <laughs> Come on, man. Rolling Stone obviously doesn't do a damn thing here. I'm gonna go chump block one and going far. This looks good. Okay. Hey, Canola. Running it? Let's see how much damage we actually get here. A bubble would suck, because that would just completely counter lane one. Walnut also. This is so sad. A rolling stone doesn't do anything. This three nut is. It's doing well. Again, it's done. So this just dies. Ugh. Okay. Now what do we do? Just hope for a good going viral, I guess. This is gonna get so weak, though. I don't know. I guess killing the cantalus is good. Bro, come on, man. <laughs> I don't think we come back from this. This just feels like a regular hardy swarm. Right now. Actually gets even more damage now. Well, is there something that could happen good with the blocks here? Just dies right. Might as well. I guess if he doesn't have removal, this nurse could go a long way. Let's just hope for that. Now, any team up would just win the game. Does not have it, luckily. So that's the end of the three knot, thank goodness. Um, it's definitely not the end of the damage he's doing there. Uh, this actually all gets blocked because of the mirror nut, so thank you. Yes. I'm gonna save this. If he can remove a teacher, he'll remove this too. Teacher. No, but I don't think we play Yeti. Because we need to play Going Viral and Rockwall still. So this actually still lives, which is good news. Um, taking so much damage though. Where did he get Dragon from? Hell to this guy of all these things he could get. Dragon was like the killer there. God. So the, the the hope is that we're gonna be able to rolling stone or chop our way through and win here. This guy, man. Is going viral going to be necessary? It might be. If he plays like two, two, two small cards, which are team ups, we might have to rolling stone one and going viral through the other. So I'm still going to not play this. It means we lose if it doesn't work out, but we should hopefully win here. We're also going to heal, so we're not necessarily losing. Come on, man! Another three nut, okay? <laughs> I can't! Oh, come on, man! <laughs> if he wouldn't have had that, we would have won. We would have rolling stone this one, and we would have gone viral through the nut. Easy. Now we're only healing for three, and we're taking a lot. A lot, a lot. If rolling stone's still in our hands. La 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 la. Hmm. 
not our match. Do we lose? We lose. It's guaranteed. Eh, I guess. Oh well. Oh well, five and four. The answer is no. We are gonna play one more game with this deck. Honestly, we should have won that game. I mean, think about it. Where if you got the drag play photosynthesizer and he got dragon for something like that? Come on, man. <laughs> uh, all right, I'll keep Yeti. You gotta keep a win condition. The answer is no. And without the three nut, we would have won too, right? Well, I guess the Picanal would prevent us from doing damage. Eh, well, there's a little bit of a miss. Hmm. Um, we're gonna wait one more turn. We want to be able to come in with the Yeti the turn after we flag, so we'll flag on three Yeti on four. Could be we'll get a fourth minion here too, that would be amazing. It's a good rolling stone. Here we go, here we go. What's in the box? Yeti's gonna come in hard here, as long as it doesn't kill the flag. I think this deck is doing well since we made the changes, honestly. Quite well indeed. <laughs> he goes after the teacher. The teacher is the worst card on the field, and that's the one he went after. Thank you. Oh, we have pot now. Guys, for all you you pot enjoyers, we have pot. I'm trying to figure out which one we cover here. The one with the least stats is this. Probably just covering you. Doesn't make sense to cover this since this is just a 1-2. This looks really good. You also don't want the heavy minion to be lose a trade to a team-up. I could have a, uh, a, a cop. It's not even that good. Here comes the solar removal. Eat solar. <laughs> it's so stupid. Yup, yay. So he ramps to hopefully he doesn't have a dragon in hand. That would suck. We're doing well as long as he doesn't have insane finishers. Uh, he's also gonna just go to Fi now. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> So got code and Mog early. Imagine getting Weed Whacker Freeze there. Nope. Nope. Ooh, we got pot, so I'll go for the pot for sure. Look at the card refresh. Hell yeah. We get four more cards. This game's gonna come down to card. Just don't drag in. Don't do something stupid, man. Hmm. Rawr. Oh, uh, we only lose one minion here. I don't know why he's playing this here. He's playing around going viral. Well, apparently not. We get four cards. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> Yay! At least he didn't have dragon. So what do we do here? We definitely play teacher because we're gonna spam going virals. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's not when we needed him, but it's fine. That's okay. One more. Doesn't like teacher. So he gets card draw. Ugh. If we rolling stone, get a rolling stone, I'll hit this one, actually. So that's it. I think we're very much in this game. Just don't want him getting Colonel Corn next turn. Okay, the Bad Moon Rising is getting sadder. Yeah, great zucchini. 
This damn twin sunflower is still around. I don't think we go for Batman Rising, we just have the one in hand. So I'm gonna do it like this. We'll either Nebula or going viral. Going back to full health, la la la. See what his Mayflower gets here. <sighs> okay. So let's weigh going Vile versus Nebula here. Nebula means we could play a minion and Bad Moon Rising next turn. Um, Nebula adds two damage, so we can either do eight or we'll do ten. Or sorry, this is nine or eleven. Eleven means he's down to four. This also draws an extra card. Let's go for the card draw. Card draw plus damage. Cool. We still have a guy in a bad moon rising. What, what were we even wanting to get, like, flag? It would, Nebula would only make a difference for flags, that way. Oh, we actually don't. I forgot about the wing, though. We don't actually do the damage. It's okay. This is fine. This teacher. Uh, teacher in us? Cornucopia? It's not even that good, honestly. It really doesn't do enough. So, we're gonna heal first. Is there, is, is there a reason that Bad Moon Rising would be better here? Uh, is there, sorry, going viral would be better than Bad Moon Rising? No. Okay, we'll heal first, because it's free. Bad Moon Rising, come on! This is the last game, we need the finale! <laughs> Wow! 19 health, wannabe hero, Zombot, and two more Gargs. Was that a Bad Moon Rising or a Garg Feast? What a way to end the stream, guys. That is definitely going on YouTube. Hell yeah. This is one of the most fun decks we've done in a really, really long time. I know we only went 6 and 4. But that means you can hit Ultimate League with the deck, guys. And that's great. Yeah, I forgot about the wing nuts, true. Hell yes! Man. Man, man, man. Bad moon rising, guys. Right when we needed it. Good moon rising. That stream will definitely go on YouTube. This was really, really fun. I really just want to play this deck even more and perfect it until it becomes reliable. Adding in the Yetis and the Pots were a thing. It could be even get rid of the Pot of Silver and add some card draw or something like that. Would even be better. But this is really, really cool. I love this deck so much. Once we really started making uh, additions and adding in a little bit more win condition cards, the deck really took off. So hail yeah to that. Hope you guys enjoyed, that was absolutely amazing. Peace and surprise.